Hello, good morning. Welcome to lesson nine of the course, Introduction to Rapid Application Development using SQL Server and ESP.NET Maker. I am Benjamin Fadino. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to apply the unique key property to the account type name column in the account type table. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to apply the unique key property to the account type name column in the account types table. I'm going to ensure that my SQL Server service is running. Okay, the instance called the Bukmoloa is running, so I'm fine. So, going to start management studio now. This time around, I'm going to connect using SQL Server Authentication. I have my login ID, SA, and the password. I click Connect. I'm going to expand the databases folder in Object Explorer. I'm going to expand my Bank DB node. I'm going to expand my tables folder under my Bank DB. And I'm going to right click on Account Types. Then I'll select Design. Like I said on like I said earlier on, the objective of this lesson is to uh, set a unique key property on account type name. Now, in what scenarios are unique keys useful? A unique key is useful in a scenario that I've already defined a primary key property on a column in a database table. And by defining a primary key property on that column, I've already ensured that the values of that particular column will be unique. So in other words, by defining primary key property on account type ID column, I've already ensured that the values that will be entered in account type ID column will be unique. Now, what if there is a business requirement that another column values have to be unique? Then what I can do is to define a unique key property on the second column. So a unique key property helps us to ensure uh, the uniqueness of values, the uniqueness of values in other columns apart from the primary key column. Per table, you can only define one primary key property, but you can have as many unique key properties as possible. In summary, I'm defined, I want to define unique key property on account type name because I've already defined primary key property on account type ID column. So let's do it. How do I how do I define a unique key property on account type name column. First of all, I will select the account type name column. After that, I will right click on the account type name column. After right clicking on it, I will click on the option indexes to keys. Now the first thing is that I'm going to click hard. Now, after clicking add, I'm going to give a name to this unique key that I'm about to create. So 
I'm going to change this name that SQL Server Management Studio is proposing. SQL Server Management Studio is proposing a name called IX underscore account types. I'm going to change it to UNK, that stands for unique key underscore account type name. After that, I'm going to change the type from index to unique key. Note what I did that I changed the type from index to unique key. Then the last thing I'm going to do is to define the columns that are going to participate in this unique key. And what I'm going to do is I'll come to the columns uh, property, I'll click on ellipsis there. After clicking the ellipsis, then I'm going to change the name of the column that's participating in this unique key from account type ID to account type name. No, the default sort order for the unique key is ascending. You could change it to descending if you wish, but I'm going to leave it in the default sort order, which is ascending. After that, I'll click OK. Now, after that, I'll, keep, I'll click close. After that, I'll click, I'll click on File, then I'll click on Save Account Types. Now, having defined uh, a unique key property on the column Account Type Name, it is time for us to test the unique key property that we have assigned to Account Type Name column. How do we do that? I'm going to right-click on my table Account Types. Then now, this time around, I'm going to select Edit Top 200 Rows. I'm going to select Edit Top 200 Rows. Okay, let me... Already, we have individual current as one of the account types. Let's see what happens if I attempt to enter individual current again. SQL Server throws an error and it says no row was updated. The data in row 7 was not committed. In other words, the data in row 7 was not saved. Error message, violation of unique key constraint, UNK underscore account type name. The message is that we cannot insert duplicate key in object DBO account types. The duplicate key values, individual current. So what it means is that we cannot enter individual current more than once. So now this is being enforced by the unique key property that we have defined on the account type name columns, column. I'm going to click OK. Let me press Escape. So thank you for watching. We have come to the end of the lesson on how to set unique key property on a column. Thank you.